Good morning, lads. It has been forever, I feel like, since we filmed or posted a video. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me today and just update you guys and have a fun day. So it has been a while because we went to Arizona to visit Madison's family and then my parents were here for a week and we were getting so much stuff done around the house. It's just been really busy. So today, my parents are gone, I have the day off and Madison is at work, but we will have a good day. Okay, this might be a little TMI, but Activia, this is the only thing that like keeps me regular during pregnancy. It's crazy. I mean, before pregnancy, I knew this stuff worked, but dang. Our house is so messy. <sighs> so I just did the dishes, but, well, most of them, but my drying space has run out. But we cleaned out the garage my parents and I did, and we found all this stuff, which is great. But, like this, now I gotta find a place for all these mats, and then our counter is just a mess. Like, why are these weights right here? No idea. So that is what I'm going to work on. First, I'm going to take all of this recycling outside. I guess we'll save that for another day. Madison's brother just moved into our basement apartment that we built. Um, that's like separate and everything, but since he's just moving in, there's... Mia! It's a live cat fight. Guys, can you stop? God, she's crazy. Ah, everything's going awfully today. Um, so there's a bunch of cardboard in the recycling. So... Guys, stop! My hair is wild. <clears throat> I need a shower. Okay, I just brushed my teeth, which I can finally do without getting really sick. So, I'm also officially 17 weeks today, so I figured I'd open up the apps and see what they say about the baby. I also hate these things because every one says it's different. It's like, why do we say fruits? I don't understand it. Okay, number one says, Baby is the size of a turnip, and it is changing from soft cartilage to bone. The next one says the baby is the size of a pomegranate, 5.12 inches, which is crazy. That seems really big. Ah! Same thing, cartilage is turning to bone. It's only 23 weeks left, like I'm almost halfway. This is blowing my mind. And the next one, says the same thing, baby is the size of a pomegranate, but even sweeter. Your baby's senses are coming along, his brain is beginning to control his heartbeat, his umbilical cord is also getting better sleep. I mean, what? His umbilical cord is also getting better at delivering, delivering nutrients. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's see, I'm not gonna do a little update this week because this will be it, so let me think if I have any other symptoms. My forehead's still breaking out. I've been gassy, or like my stomach feels really gassy, but I like can't release it. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I'm getting really weird pains like up here. Oh, I also cannot lay on my stomach anymore. Oh my gosh, I laid on my stomach and like on the floor to, you know, pet my cat or something. That's what I'm saying. And Otis, so I was laying on the floor and I could feel like, my actual uterus like a hard ball on the ground like I was laying on it and it I mean it hurt for like a second but it was just it was really weird it was like <gasps> I need to not lay on my stomach anymore so I can't do that other symptoms I don't feel like really I have any I'm gaining weight and my belly is like definitely starting to show another symptom my sciatica is coming back so I got two years ago I think no almost two years ago a year and a half ago I got hip surgery 
and that like messed up my alignment in my back so I ended up bulging a disc in my L5-S1 which causes really bad like sciatic nerve pain so I got an injection. I have like really crazy health issues actually. Um, so I got an injection and went to the chiropractor all the time and that helped my sciatica a lot. So one of like my sister-in-law has really bad sciatica and back issues like has had three surgeries and stuff and she's like just wait till you're pregnant it's awful and my chiropractor and I have been saying like how awesome it's been that we haven't run into it yet it's awful like last night I was like crying because it hurt so bad and it just like shoots down the whole back of my right leg like my whole leg feels numb I don't know how to explain it so I think I'm gonna start wearing more supportive shoes and I need to go back to the chiropractor um, I'm still taking my Unisum to help me sleep, so I haven't had any any sleep issues yet, which I which I am really stoked on. For now, I'm gonna make some breakfast, even though I had the yogurt. It's like 10:30. It's time to get more stuff done. All right, this is what I'm working with. I'm gonna make a little hash with potatoes. Mushrooms, leftover pork from last night, of course, butter. So I haven't been eating that well during pregnancy, but having my mom here helps a lot because we both really like cooking and we like cooking together. I think that's something though that I miss so much in the first trimester, like I, I know I mentioned it before, because I love cooking for Madison, especially like when she gets home from work, I love figuring out what to make for her to make her happy and everything. So I kind of lost that. So I'm really glad that I have my energy back, that I'm no longer sick and I can make food again. Feels real nice. product. It's a little burnt. Watch how I like it. Okay, this video has kind of been a video of everything I've eaten, so I'm gonna keep on with that trend. It is 3.30 and I've been doing laundry, cleaning stuff in the garage, packing or taking old furniture out to be taken to the dump and watching the Rugby World Cup. I'm going to make a quick smoothie. So we get these smoothie packs from Costco and they're really convenient, but this one is just berries and kale. Let's see, I'm gonna put collagen peptides in it because I feel like I'm still lacking in protein throughout this pregnancy. Then, to do a little bit of spark. I don't know what flavor yet. Let's do cherry and lemonade. This is an Advocare product. We talked about it before. It's like an energy drink if you use it as that, but it has less caffeine in it than like a cup of coffee. And usually I do a half scoop, so I'm actually going to do a quarter scoop of cherry and a quarter scoop of the lemonade. Gonna add some water to this and blend it up. When it's 100 degrees out and you don't have air conditioning, there's only so much you can do. So, I'm just sitting here with the fan blowing right at me, waiting for a breeze to come through the window. And hopefully this will make me a little bit cooler than I am. Someone's in a better mood. And this is actually our nursery, which I will show you a little sneak peek of once Madison gets home from work, which she said she's heading home in, she's probably leaving work around now, but she's working at the far office, so she'll be home in like an hour, but I'm feeling sweaty and disgusting, so I'm gonna take a shower. I felt incredible. Okay, I put on tight clothes, <clears throat> yes, my boobs are giant. I put on tight clothes just so I could show you guys the bump really fast and then I'm gonna put on 
my comfy clothes again. There you can see it a little bit. Also, side note, I wanna cut my hair, I think, to like here. Okay, from the front, you can see like that one and my really wide hips. So I hope those are as wide as they go. But you can kind of see the outline. There we go, from the side. It just sticks out a little bit right here. And then this is all fat. Didn't mean to. Look who it is. She came bearing gifts. Sushi, lemonade, and ice. From a hot babe. It is, I'll show you guys, 90 degrees in our home. Before you go yelling at me for eating sushi while I'm pregnant, I get one roll that is cooked and one roll that just has veggies in it. Also, Zoe's. <laughs> That's the best limeade ever. Hi. 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 Can we eat? Yeah. You feeling baby? Yeah. And my cold hands. What else we got? I got some makeup wipes. Oh, thanks. I don't wear makeup anymore because it's too hot. Some honey mustard pretzels. This, Madison called me on her way to Safeway and said, do, do you want or need anything? And I said, no. And this is what we have. No, she hesitated. And then, because you keep saying you don't want decaf, I got you decaf. Thank you. Because you keep wanting coffee. I do. But we don't have I'm very that, appreciative because so I'm want some right now. And then I got something for me. That's her favorite coffee. It is. Thanks, I love babe. You. I love you're you welcome. too. Alright, let's take our limeades. Well, my clothes are already off. We are going to have our little sushi dinner and watch the rugby world cup. And then Love Island. Scotland last minute the quarterfinals of 2005. You guys are so cute. For them to move on here. Good morning. It's the next day. Laura and I are up early because we are about to go golfing. We're really late. We're driving around the golf cart. No, I can steer it. Here, you show how pretty it is. We're trying to find our crew. Coffee. We're good to go. Let's go golf. It is a beautiful day for golf. I am just waiting for Matt to go to the bathroom. This fundraiser is for this breast cancer thing. So, and we forgot to wear pink. So, I have my pink visor, and Matt has her pink sunglasses. We're doing the best we can. day we are home and I just want to show you guys a couple of little things for our nursery oh and actually I got like a couple maternity clothes this striped tank and it's also a nursing one this little tunic cute then, for the fall cute for the fall and then this Looks like 90% of what I own. Stripes. Maroon or navy? Yep. I also. In gray. On, come on. I got more. More? Oh, wait, it's right here. Hold on. 
This one. Stripes. This. Stripes. <laughs> Are those navy stripes or black stripes? Black. Ooh. With some boots. For fall? Okay, let's go show the nursery. Okay. Madison did a bunch of work with my stepdad this weekend to do our trim and we were able to finish all the trim in the nursery. So my mom and I went to the sale and we got this little bathtub and it was only $8.50. She got this toy. That's where I found some of the maternity clothes. And then the rest of this room, I mean, it's not too big of a mess. We have our stroller, but we have like a lot of our work stuff in here, in kind of like in the center of the room. So we were originally gonna do it white, but then once we saw the white trim in it, looks whoa. really good, huh? Yeah, it does. Oh, don't say whoa when you look at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't mean it. Oh, yeah. um, and then my mom and I washed all the newborn all the way up until the three month point with like baby um, detergent. Oh, and then let's go show the biggest thing that we did for the nursery. What was the biggest thing that we did for the nursery? You know. I do. So Laura and her mom and stepdad did an awesome job refinishing this. So we had it, it was all brown. It was kind of like this actually, like our old dresser. Like okay. similar tone, yeah. like that, like an old oak dresser. We lightly sanded everything to get the kind of shininess off so that the paint would actually stick. And then they repainted it. They probably did it in, what, about 24 hours? Yeah. We started the day before and then finished the next morning. And we found the cutest poles. I can't wait to show you guys once it's all done. But the biggest surprise of the whole weekend is look. We cleared out the garage and moved everything. Yeah, Laura and her stepdad did work. So everything is on this side and the whole goal was to move stuff so that in December, when the baby's here, that I can come and like park my car in the garage so that when it's snowing, cause we chose bad snow time yeah. for that. Um, so when it's snowing that we can just put the car seat and the baby carrier thing like in the garage so that they don't have to be in the snow all the time. But for now, it's a good little hangout. Yeah, for now, this is what we do. And last night, we just hung out here with her brother and his girlfriend and just talked and stuff. It was really good. Okay, and it's very warm and it has been a long day. So, we, Mads will probably open up the cider. Mm, yeah. And I'll make a little mocktail. Oh. Yeah, we gotta watch some Love Island and catch back up. Any other news? No. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.